YouTube it's Chris welcome back to the channel this video I have some TDM gameplay for you guys playing on Twitch so come check me out over there unfortunately the only way for me to have fun in this game is playing the Paul mode and TDM that's kind of what it's come to this video is going to be me ranting about 2042 and all the issues that I have with 2042 and I feel like now it's time. Everyone seems to think that there's going to be a patch on day one that's just going to fix everything. Guys, uh, that's not going to happen. And oh, don't get me wrong, I really hope it does because I've been a big Battlefield fanboy since forever of the franchise. But um, this release is just absolutely beyond a joke. So guys, I'm going to be ranting on in this video about all the issues that I have with this game. In saying that, guys, my name's Chris. I do game latency and optimization videos. If you guys are new, please subscribe and like. I would appreciate it if you like an opinion or if you like someone who likes to dissect games and try to squeeze every little few frames out of their games and get any kind of competitive advantage. That's sort of what I'm about. I do stream over on Twitch. That's what this gameplay is. So come check me out. So guys, we'll start with optimization because it's time for me to rant. Optimization is horrible. They have not utilized it for any kind of hardware at all. They've literally just generically thrown the game together and just expected it to run on any kind of hardware. They definitely haven't looked at optimizing it for any kind of different kinds of CPUs or, or, or graphics cards that just kind of, they kind of just threw it together and it just runs. So, you know, I can run it on my worst rig and basically get the same frames. We're talking PUBG level style clunkiness and bad optimization here. Remember PUBG on, on release, you know, it, it would just, only if you had a brute force, you know, CPU and, and memory overclock going uh, PC, that's when you would get kind of okay frames, but it still just runs horrible. Um, man, I'm, I'm getting the same frames in, in 1080p low on my, you know, 1080 Ti versus my 6900 XT. It's just stupid and it's just, this game is not utilizing the hardware at all. It's not utilizing the graphics card at all. GPU usage is at an all-time low with a decent enough graphics card. And the game doesn't run on all calls at all. It just kind of, it doesn't know what to do because it's just not coded like that correctly. So that's the biggest problem. And kind of when I dissected and did my optimization video guide, that's when I just knew, oh man, this is just not good at all. Look, don't get me wrong. I do understand that most dice games that come out the battlefield tiles it's always buggy on launch right but they have the fundamentals there right the fundamentals are there it's just a matter of you know this and that needs to be patched or bad net code or you know this is just overpowered but it's it's more than that this release um this game definitely does not feel like it had three years in development at all um and i really feel like there's a lot of people that are trying to stick up for this this franchise and this game um what the publisher team what ea have allowed to to come out it's like they just have no quality control it, it's beyond a joke so um after optimization i mean it's just horrible so it doesn't matter what you do it just runs horrible it doesn't matter what settings you change it just runs horrible it doesn't matter how good your pc is it just runs horrible and i really feel like consoles got a lot more love than what we do because from what i can see it does look quite good on the new gen consoles and it looks like it runs smooth yeah sure maybe they only get 60 fps but it looks like it's at least plug and play and you don't have crashes all the time you don't have crazy performance issues you don't have crazy input issues so in saying that after you know the optimization issue mouse mouse input mouse input is beyond a joke horrible there was a you know there's a content creator baronox he reckons there's this mouse fix with the changing the controller um you know acceleration that honestly i include that in my video but that uh, between you and me guys that just didn't do anything at all um the mouse input is horrible i feel like there isn't really acceleration there anymore honestly but it just feels horrible there's that many times where i'll get into a gunfight and i would just get these horrible frame drops so the one percent and 0.1s will dip all the way down to like six and I've tried to track someone or aim in a certain direction and you know it hasn't sort of I can't see that I've aimed there but then all of a sudden you know the frames kick back in and then I have aimed there so I've overcorrected my aim I'm just stuttering 
in gunfights. You know, you got to aim down sight and it's just frame by frame almost. Uh, and it seems that that could be like not even a game issue. That could be a network issue. I'm not sure. But the mouse input's horrible. So let's talk about sort of like what they want the movement, right? So what they want to go for the movement, we're really looking like it's um, modern warfare type movement. And I am not complaining. I do really like the, the sliding, the double jumping, um, you know, and the animations. I love how we have tactical sprint, but because of how clunky the game is, none of the transitions are smooth at all. And it really feels like you're playing an indie game with the way that the animations sort of work. Nothing flows. It's not smooth at all. So like there's potential for it to be super, super nice, but it just, it's just horrible and buggy. Um, and that just ruins it. That ruins the immersion completely, you know? Um, not being able to aim properly and not being able to move around properly without feeling like you're playing um, a complete indie game that's it's completely clunky. That That's not a nice experience at all. So let's talk about um, graphics because I, I really don't know what's going on here. This game is completely unimpressive. All Battlefield titles have been incredibly impressive as far as um, graphically. Um, and that's, you know, graphics isn't something that I usually care about or well, i don't care about it you know i just want the game to to feel good on my mouse input to run good as far as optimizations um you know the animations to be to, to be there and the gunplay that to be there but all battlefield titles have been notorious for for, for, for being really graphically um demanding and also looking incredible um, what we have here I, I don't know what it is because um like i said every battlefield title has just been like incredible looking nice this i don't know what this is i don't know what we're looking at graphically it just feels like something that's been thrown together i really feel like they've just grabbed all the assets from all the battlefields on console mind you coded something together on console and ported it over to pc it really that's what it really feels like and i really feel like console was uh the main priority of this game um and that's always been the complete opposite with most Battlefield titles. Well, since forever, Battlefield has always been primarily a PC game and it always has been a sort of PC priority. Now, I, I don't know what we're looking at. I don't know what we're dealing with. The graphics are unimpressive. Um, everything's just unsmooth. Um, and, you know, like I said, I don't care about graphics, but when everything else is horrible and we've paid this much for a game and it's 2021, uh, what are we looking at here? Because honestly, um, you know, there are, you know, remastered versions of, you know, the old uh, battlefields and they look better than this. So I don't know what to tell you. It's just kind of like a wow moment, really. So there is no server browser for the main base of the game. And that tells me that there is skill based matchmaking in this game, which is what I was concerned about. So if you really wanted to and you're really enjoying conquest or breakthrough on these crazy huge maps that you spend five minutes running around trying to find people. Um, yeah, you do really well and you're probably, you're probably going to get paired with other sweaty players on the other team. That's just not cool. Um, that's really not cool. Now, look, the maps, they're so huge, man. Like, I, I don't get it. Like, I get what they've gone for, like, all out warfare and 128 players and that's great. But at the same time, the maps are even too big for that. So it makes the flow of the game really, like just not so nice and i know i'm mainly an infantry player i am willing to get into vehicles for sure but oh if you play these maps it's all vehicle heavy it's completely vehicle heavy uh you need vehicles to just get around to find anybody and you know vehicles uh, dominate the map and I, I do get that a lot of battlefield titles are like that but also a lot of battlefield titles are very infantry heavy too um, like generally there's a kind of balance and a flow there isn't it just feels like you want to be an infantry player you're either running around forever um, or you just need to get into vehicles and I am willing to get into vehicles because I do enjoy them although I'm not mainly a vehicle player but I can never get vehicles half the time uh, everyone always takes all the vehicles at the beginning of the match and then I have to wait to try to drop a vehicle in and then when I drop a vehicle in I'm probably in the worst case and a worse place to drop my tank or whatever and I just get beamed from all sides so it's sort of you know 
really, really rough in that regard. Um, so, you know, this game is actually kind of antisocial, which is weird because, you know, we've got no sort of in-game chat and also no scoreboard. You can't shit your KD. Um, you know, <laughs> you can't chat to the other team at all. You can't switch sides on the other team. You can't change squads. Um, the only thing you can do is just like join off friends and like kind of squad up before you start a match and then that's it. There's nothing else. Honestly, we need more game modes and maps. We need a server browser. I can't see them adding a server browser because really I think of skill based matchmaking. But why don't we have like, uh, you know, if they made the maps like half the size, I think it would actually be semi all right. But man, there's just so many issues with the game. I just, uh, there's so much more to talk about and I don't even have the time. So fundamentals, as, as much as I said, the movement was horrible. Now we have bloom on a lot of the weapons. So I was really thinking there's a bunch of weapons I was using. I was really thinking, hey, is it my aim or is it this hit reg? But it's actually not a lot of the time. Um, most of these weapons, apart from the uh, SMGs, from what I see, have bloom. Um, unless you're using DMRs or snipers. So that really means that you might as well just run around with the SMGs. As you can see here, this Bison I am beaming people with. And if I did and played exactly the same, any of the assault rifles, uh, half my shots wouldn't hit half the time. And you're left wondering, hmm, is it my aim? I'll go watch the clip. Nope. Okay. Maybe it's a hit reg. Yes. And then also nope, because it could be like, you know, bullet bloom where it just randomly changes where the bullet's going. Uh, what were they thinking with that? I think this game is really, really, there's so many decisions that are made to cater for the casuals, for people that just want to pick up the game. And that's fine. But guess what happens? The casuals are the people that go play the game for the first few months and then they will never play the game ever again. And the community that actually wants to play the game long term uh, end up just getting frustrated and don't want to play. Um, you know, it's the fundamentals like this that you need to get right if you want the community to keep playing. You know, bad graphics, bad optimization, bad movement, bad hit reg, bullet bloom anti-social features and perks, SBMM, um, you know, huge, huge maps. I feel like I'm playing Daisy all the time. I mean, it's, oh, I shoot a gun and it doesn't go where I want it to because of bullet bloom. Uh, wow, like, um, using the vehicles, they actually seem super easy. Um, I really feel like there's just so many decisions in this game to get rid of skill back skill gap to counter for for casual players um that's what, just what it really feels like honestly just anyone can pick up the game and, and have a good time you get in a gunfight and it's a coin toss because uh because of bloom okay you know that person with really good movement and aim is going to lose to that new casual player you know and you know that player feels like oh yeah i did all right i'm going to keep playing but like i said those casual players aren't going to be the ones that it will play long term and forever and this is a real good way to ruin the franchise, it really is. There's so many other issues with the game and I need to end the video, but what's with the end of, end of the game scoreboard? Um, that's just so cringe with the characters talking. Man, that's just so cringe. Um, you know, what's with like yeah, the whole like, specialist thing? I really, I'm not a fan of that. Um, I just think it's, you can make the most OP setup and have everything. You can have a rocket launcher. <laughs> you can have a sniper. And then you can have like, you know, and you can heal yourself. It's it's beyond ridiculous. Oh, then you can have ammo crate. Uh, you can just do whatever you want, really. You just run around do whatever you want. Uh, it's ridiculous. Um, man, I haven't even talked about the bugs and glitches in this game, but I really don't think I, I need to. I think you guys know there hasn't been a Battlefield release that has ever been this bad, guys, ever. Um, and the fact that it got through the quality control at EA, um, I reckon that somewhere around the line they've probably worked on the game really last minute um and that uh ea has just pushed the game developers and you know uh made work them to the bone in a short period of time just just throw out this absolute uh, mess and that's what we're looking at here i miss a lot of stuff but at, at the end of the day everyone's going to be excited and pe people are going to still play the game but long term if they don't fully overhaul this game if they don't fully overhaul this game, 
long term it's going to be dead and the problem is it's so bad in its state right now it's going to leave a really bad taste in people's mouths so most people won't bother revisiting it they'll just go play something else why would they bother coming back to it really majority of people um anyway guys that's that's the video i missed out on a lot more but i think let's just leave it at that subscribe and like guys i appreciate you all have a good one